Our world is full of many, many mysteries, such as who built the stone hinges? Where do hamsters live in the wild? And is Sky overpowered? That last one has actually been asked by many, many new players and, well, slightly less new players time and time again. Buckle down, because today I'm going to tell you in this vid my thoughts on the subject after explaining in great, great deep No. No, she's not. Oh. I think Pip is a bot, you, dude. You want me to explain myself? Uh, fine. Let's take a look at what Sky can do. Let's start with her ultimate, Time Bomb, an area of effect ability that deals 3000 damage and destroys all shields upon contact. When browsing through the forums for insight or input on this matter, I found some that look pretty similar to this one right here, which reads, Sky Time Bomb is OP. Sky Time Bomb has a big radius and a timer that runs out quick. I keep dying to her Time Bomb. Please nerf Time Bomb. You mean this time bomb? Or this one right here? Oh, it's gotta be this one. Oh, wait, no, no, this is, this, oh, shoot, still no. Oh, okay, oh, right, no, 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 not, okay. Oh, that one was a good flank, but guess what, still no. Ah, oh, heck, let's go for a bonus round. Now, if you're a new player, I can honestly understand how that would feel like an overwhelming ability. If you're not a tank, it takes all of your health, has decent range, and you don't have the timing down yet. Realistically, not everyone can escape the blast radius in time due to positioning, other abilities such as stuns or slows, or simply you already use your escape ability. If you find that is often your case, then buy blast shields. Any non-tank can survive time bombs starting at Blast Shields 2. What you do with the life after that is up to you. As for the timing on her ult, I simply like to find something like a phrase or word that just so happens to fit in it and play it in your head every time. Afterwards, like it'll just come as second nature. Like this. SpongeBob SquarePants Moving on to her primary fire, Wrist Crossbow, it deals direct damage for 130 per shot every 0.1 seconds. Using simple math, we can determine how much damage that can do and how fast it is to down some- INCREDIBILY! That was pretty fast, right? It was, but only because I nailed the poison bolts first. The poison bolts are pretty crucial if you want to melt with sky because it does most of the damage, and your wrist bow at this point kinda ironically acts like a secondary fire just to finish them off. There is a card that she can get, if you nail the poison bolt, you will get infinite ammo to allow room for error. However, you can buy Haven to counter the wrist bow bolts. You can buy Illuminate to counter Sky, period, to not let her get close to you for that matter. We'll cover Illuminate in a tiny bit, Moving on, her third ability, Smokescreen. This is where I believe Sky actually got nerfed as time went on, and recently actually. Smokescreen, smoke screen, excuse me, now creates a smoke cloud that lasts 5 seconds and grants 3 seconds stealth every 1 second. I say nerfed because Smokescreen act, used to act as a blind. Before you could throw it down and still not be seen by your enemies because you were not invisible. They were blinded. Now it nerfs you in the sense that it forces you to go into stealth if you touch it. The problem with that is, again, say it with me kids, illuminate. If they have illuminate and you touch that smoke screen, they can still see you as opposed to before where they couldn't if you did not turn invisible in the smoke. If you turned invisible, you were SOL. Sorry. 
The last ability that we haven't covered yet is Hidden, her escape ability, or prowling ability I guess, I, I don't know. She enters stealth for 7.5 seconds while using it. Getting too close to enemy players will reveal you while in stealth. That's actually really powerful, except again for... what is it? Oh shit, Illuminate. Yeah, that's right. Invisibility is super useful in this game, guys, but when it can be countered by such a very, very cheap to max out item by anyone, and everyone who really is against this guy should have it, um, it it's just, it's still strong, it's just not as strong as it should be. Going back to Poison Bolts, I just realized I didn't talk about that. This is a rant, so uh, yeah, my bad. Fire three bolts that deal 10% maximum health damage over time, over four seconds. Now that damage can be increased by the talent Debilitate. In my opinion, her best talent and the one I use the most often. With Debilitate, Poison Bolt now deals 25% more damage twice as fast. This is where the brunt of her damage comes from, as I mentioned earlier in that Willow clip. It took half of her damage, all I had to do was finish her off with the Poison Bolts. This talent got nerfed not too long ago. Uh, rightfully so. Again, despite it being my favorite talent to use, I feel like it was way too rewarding to land a Poison Bolt on a tank, and I do actually uh, understand all the hate it got for that. It, since it does a percentage base, it does a bit too much damage against tanks in my opinion. Also, if you have good enough aim, it can act as a viable way to kinda snipe poke with it, as seen here. That was cool to see, right? But it's unfortunately not the most viable way to run her as you can imagine. You'd be doing way less damage than you should be at by the end of the match. But that's the thing. If you try to close in on somebody and they have Illuminate, they simply see you and vice versa. If you have Illuminate against the sky, you simply see them coming. And they'd, they have a chance to fire it off, yes. But if you see them coming, you can start moving erratically, you can start moving towards your teammates. There's so many things you guys can do. Heading back to the forums, I found another post. Is Sky overpowered? Hey guys, I just got a Nintendo Switch and I have started to play Paladins because I was a fan of Overwatch. Over the course of about 25 games, I've come across the character Sky in 5 of them. In each of these games, this character absolutely destroys me and my entire team easily and repetitively. Every time we seem to almost kill her, she simply disappears or kills us all faster. It's gotten to the point where I'm beginning to lose interest in, with the game because of how unfun it is to absolutely get shredded by this character whenever she appears. Maybe this is all in my head or simply just a coincidence. Either way, I wanted to hear the opinion of Sky from the community. Well my dude, my opinion, personally, I'd say just spend more time with the game. You said you just started playing the game, so you don't know the mechanics, or who counters who, or how to counter someone, other than maybe one or two characters that you've come across. And again, you said 25 games, in 5 of them you saw Sky, so 1 -fifth of them you lost for sure, according to you. I'd say that's still a pretty darn good ratio. Just keep trying, buy Illuminate, and see where it gets you, buddy. I believe in you. Moving on, I found another one that read, Okay, I understand she isn't in the competitive line. Often for consoles because she's banned, you know, okay. However, <sighs> she's freaking insane as a flank. The other flanks at least allow you to react when they're, well, flanking you. <laughs> one shot from Buck, oh, gives you time to turn around. Same with Andro, Maven, Lex. Evie is a powerful poke, but it's enough reaction time. Sky, though. 
She doesn't even give you a second. <laughs> One moment, you're full HP, the next. Boom. Dead. From a sky. That's the point of a flank, I know. Lowercase Christ. It just seems unfair at times. Even have a full rank 3 Haven isn't enough to tank through her hits. And I really don't want to buy Illuminate. Ah, oh, Jesus, lowercase Christ. I, I don't know where to start with this one. Uh, level 3 Haven does help. Does it secure your living? No, you do. So, uh, work on that. Uh, secondly, you know who else can melt you pretty fast from behind? Uh, I don't know, a Zin with a Yomi? Uh, Emoji that got a pretty guard darn good flank on ya? Um, Koga? Claws build, possibly, you know, all of them boosted by Genos. Uh, Buck running that, you know, that, that annoying net talent. Uh, so yeah, pretty much any flank. Uh, might as well throw Talus in there. You know, I, I didn't hear you mention Talus. I'm pretty sure you could do the same thing, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I actually have more examples, but this video went on, like, probably seven minutes longer than I thought it would. Um, thank you guys for watching this far, if you made it this far. Uh, if you didn't make it this far, thanks for watching it anyway. Um, but yeah, those are my initial thoughts. Is Sky OP? No. She's about as OP as you make her to, out to be. Uh, people are stubborn, people just simply don't know the game yet it it depends guys but my initial my not initial my final thoughts is sky op no unless she gets reworked to have like shaolin's withdrawal in any direction whenever she goes in stealth or something like that which i'm not gonna lie would be pretty cool actually uh give her a nice escape but it would be pretty annoying to deal with but is she op no guys let me know your thoughts down below and thank you for watching Ah, screw it, one for the road.